Do rag wisdom here, folks. Earth date Y2K 17.05.11. And this experience that we are going through now, folks, fellow Americans, it's going to be one of the greatest, most epic political thriller dramas, docudramas ever made on the screen. I'm telling you right now, the characters, the suspense, the drama, the comedy even, the absurdity. I don't even know what the title of this, but uh, we could call it A Plot to Hack America after Malcolm Nance's great book that I'm reading. And it goes into detail about how the uh, Russians managed to insinuate themselves into our country, into our politics. And, these, and ironically enough, this isn't the communist Russians, this is the oligarchical right-wing fascist Russians, which the GOP and the Trump-Putin bastard represents and supports. What a movie this is going to make. And with the firing of James Comey yesterday, while well, he's in the midst of this investigation into the Russian connection, in the wake of Sally Yates, Stunning testimony. What a hero she is. He did this creep, this uh, wacko who doesn't know how to think, doesn't know about tactics. That's the one thing that's going to save us. His stupidity, his ignorance is going to help save us. I mean, he's surrounded by intelligent ideologues, but apparently he doesn't listen to them so clearly. Because, after all, he is a narcissist and a psychopath, this Trump-Putin creep. And as he said when he was running, Only I! Only I can! Only I can fix it! Only I! I'm going to fix it! Well, he's fixed it all right. Uh, plunging our country into perhaps a constitutional crisis. And uh, Chuck Schumer was supposed to meet this morning at 9.30 with the Democrats in the Senate. And I don't know, I don't know what they met about. And the pundits were theorizing that perhaps, and I hope this is true, that the Democrats will boycott anything this administration tries to do, especially appointing a new FBI director, until we have a select blue ribbon independent committee headed by an independent prosecutor who will be there, all of them, to investigate what the hell happened. And um, short of that, it's absurd. It's a sham. We already see the Watergate connections. This creep definitely has something to hide. And I wouldn't put it past him, folks. I hope he doesn't have some, something hidden somewhere where he can bring out a bunch of, of uh, military people all over this country to do a coup on us. I hope he didn't plan that in advance. Because I don't put it past him. He's trying to muzzle Stephen Colbert. He's trying to muzzle the news. He's trying to muzzle our free speech. He complains. People who follow him fanatically complain that we're not respecting him when they forget that he, he, tr he transgressed all the rules when you run for a political office by being a creep, a racist, and a slimeball. I'm supposed to respect the pussy grabber? I'm supposed to respect the racist, the misogynist, the homophobe, the alt-right slimeball? What a movie this is going to make. There'll be heroes. There'll be villains. Conflicts from top to bottom. All the suspense of how this creep with Putin's help came into power and him and his party began to undermine everything. Throw us into chaos. Try to throw us off of health care. 
try to mess with a woman's right to choose, our environmental laws, anything, our education, our voting rights. Everything thrown into chaos. All because this creep Putin put this, this bastard into office with the help of 50% of our country not voting. What a movie. Now again, there will be no movie if this creep has a coup. If he assassinates Steve Colbert, Bill Maher, Keith Olbermann, Rachel Maddow, the Young Turks, Jimmy Dory, Lawrence O'Donnell. If he tries to assassinate Robert Reich, who's also available on YouTube, I can see it happening. This prick has the codes to blow up this entire planet. And the movie that's going to come out of this, if we defeat him, and if this firing of Bill O'Reilly, Bill O' the Clown is any indication, if the defeat of the, the radicals in the Netherlands, the right-wing radicals in the Netherlands is any indication, if the defeat of this Le Pen piece of garbage in the France, Viva La France, is any indication, and the fact that we in this country are not as stupid as these Republican GOP Trump Putin fascists think we are, he is going to fall. He is going to fall. And as pessimistic as cynical as I am, because I know even after this creep falls and we get him impeached and we get rid of uh, Mike Pence with him, we still have to deal with that creep Eddie Munster Paul Ryan who would become president of the United States. Because these fascist GOP totalitarians with their gerrymandering and voter suppress suppression has made it very difficult for us to cut them out of our lives. But what a movie. Think about it. Think about all the characters and all the things. Oh, it could be a three-part, three-hour movie. Each part, three hours, like The Lord of the Rings. A, a political thriller epic. I would love, I mean, I'm working on a, I mean, I, on a screenplay, and I already wrote a screenplay, uh, I'm 66 years old. I don't know if any of my work's going to get out, but all my works deal with social issues, with stuff that makes you think, with the outrages against our human dignity. And, I, and again, if anyone's out there who is creative, who's into movies as I am, writing, this is going to be an epic, this political thriller that we are living right now. And I hope it ends with the Trump-Putin GOP going down in flames.